deck is the area underneath our seat cushion and the old deck cloth is often pretty dirty. Fortunately, we just need to measure it for a simple length and width because our new deck cloth will start as a rectangle. Since the front edge is sewn, we'll allow one half inch for seam allowance. On the back and sides, we'll add two to three inches since the old deck cloth has been stapled and then trimmed. We want to add fabric back in so we have something to grab onto. A simple notch will help me keep the centers center. The nosing is a bit more complicated, but I give students three general rules for cutting. Number one, if it was sewn, duplicate it carefully. Number two, if it was stapled and trimmed, add two to three inches. Number three, if it's an easement cut, observe it, but ignore it. These rules don't cover everything you'll encounter at the cutting table, but they're a pretty good place to start. Sewing a deck and nosing can be intimidating, but don't worry, we're going to tackle it one small step at a time. Okay, now the next step tends to be confusing for people because we have to turn this corner and in order for this to be tidy up here, it can get a little bit messy back in here. I like to mark my turns carefully at the cutting table using chalk or disappearing ink. You may prefer to use pins. Either way, the idea is for all of our seams to meet neatly at the top of our mitered corner. <laughs> 